Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. Um, today, we're going to talk about the Michigan Leadership Initiative. And with me, I have Beth Wickwire, who is our Associate Director of Career Development. And so we'll just run through um, some of the program uh, overview, um, the core components of it, um, how it helps you build connections, and we'll talk briefly about the admissions process for the program. Um, Beth, you want to introduce yourself? Yes, thanks so much, Chris, and hi, everybody. As Chris said, I'm an associate director with the Career Services Office, and I'm very proud and happy to be overseeing the Michigan Leadership Initiative program. We have a great group of students this year in our inaugural program, and we're looking forward to continuing that tradition with more students this coming year. Definitely. Uh, so with the program interview or overview, um, the as Beth talked about, the program started last year, um, and it really seeks to assist um, an elite group of our incoming students um, to develop the leadership skills that they've demonstrated um, in um, the classroom as undergrads, in the community, um, in student organizations, etc. Um, variety of different leadership skills that our students have coming into the law school. Um, so with this, participants get the unique opportunity um, to really engage with uh, leaders in government, business, nonprofits, um, both here in Lansing, but all across Michigan and even potentially the country. Um, so it's a really great opportunity, and we'll talk about some of those participants here in a little bit. Um, the goal is to, uh, for MLI participants um, to be able to use their legal education and get here at MSU Law to really make a huge difference in society. Um, and many of our alumni continue to do that every day, and we hope that you'll join that cohort as well. Uh, did you want to talk a little about the core components? Sure. Thanks, Chris. Uh, so the very first thing that we do as a group is a pre-immersion week retreat. It's a day-long retreat um, at a, a retreat center here on campus, and there's a couple of things that we accomplish during that day. First of all, we usually hear from uh, a leader. Last year, we had former Mayor Dennis Archer speak to us to kind of kick off our speaker series, which we'll talk more about in a minute. But we also do hear from faculty and do some team building exercises. Nothing too cheesy, I promise. Um, I actually got really good feedback from every, everybody this year. They enjoyed it and felt that it helped them learn more about themselves and their cohort, but also helped them learn a little bit more about what to expect during their first year of law school as well. Um, so in addition to the retreat, as I mentioned, we have a monthly speaker series. We bring in alums and even non-alum leaders from across Michigan and across the country. And we really try and have a mix of private sector, government, public interest um, leaders in their field. So technology, and I also um, got some feedback from students after our first semester and said, is there anybody that you'd like to hear from? And even if we can't get them in this spring semester, we'll be working to bring them in next year. And the nice thing about the speaker series is that it, it builds each year for our participants. And so you get to engage with these speakers all three of your years here. It's not something that just occurs during your first year here. Um, we also have monthly group meetings, which is where the students really kind of get to take charge and be leaders and, and talk about things that are interesting to them as it relates to our speakers, but also current events or law school, anything kind of that's on their mind. And then obviously we work closely with faculty. As I mentioned, we had several faculty members at the pre-immersion week retreat. We are organizing a reception for our MLI students and faculty members, and the MLI program is really known throughout the law college, and so our faculty members, you know, usually know who our MLI participants are, and they're always happy to talk to any of our students, but um, it's something that we make a concerted effort to do is connect you up with faculty. Specialized career advising, which is with me. Um, I've been in the career services field for almost 10 years. Um, I was most recently the assistant dean of our career services office here, but actually stepped away from that position because I wanted to be able to spend more time working directly with students and our MLI students. And then our final core component is a guaranteed placement in, in, in a summer position for your one all summer. And again, I really work with you to find something that makes sense for you. So those are not just 
in you know government or the Michigan House of Representatives. We have students, we're in the process of working with our 1Ls right now. Some of them have them secured, some of them are still working on them, but they are in government, public interest, private sector, really across the board. Wonderful, uh, definitely lots of valuable information. Uh, so here we have some of the um, individuals who have presented at those uh, monthly events. Um, so I know for um, our uh, orientation week presentation, um, Dennis Archer was there, um, who was a, is a former uh, Supreme Court justice here in Michigan, also was mayor of Detroit, among the many other hats he has worn <laughs> in the legal profession over the years. Um, really stellar alum of ours. Um, Lawrence Oliver, who is the chief counsel of investigations at Boeing, uh, was here in the fall. We also had um, Justice Elizabeth Clement, who just won re-election to the Supreme Court. Um, she's a 2002 alumni. Um, and then uh, others, uh, these are all, did uh, Amani come yet? Amani was here last semester, yes, as well. Yeah, so um, Amani, she's actually a classmate of mine. Uh, she was in my first year section, so I know her really well. And we actually serve on a couple different state bar committees together. Um, was here, um, and then this semester, um, former Chief Justice Robert Young will be here. Uh, he's currently the general counsel here at uh, MSU. And then also uh, Katie Spicer, who's a 2010 uh, grad and a major in the Marine Corps, but also an associate at Squire, Patton, and Boggs. And um, last but not least on the list is Aaron Diaz, who's a 2015 grad, so a little bit more recent, actually, um, who's a staff attorney at the Michigan Protection and Advocacy Service. service and is a former Skadden Fellow, um, one of our uh, few Skadden Fellows we've had in the last couple of years, which is phenomenal as well. Um, so those are great connections, and those will be continuing to add to the list over the coming years for MLS. Absolutely, and I would just add, Chris, um, we're always looking, again, like I said, to engage the students and hear what you want to do. So literally just today I finalized a tour and it's kind of a field trip for our MLI students to the Hall of Justice here in Michigan and Lansing. And our MLI students will be getting special seating for an oral argument with the Michigan Court of Appeals and then be able to meet individually with the entire panel that's hearing cases that day in the Hall of Justice. We're doing a tour of the Hall of Justice, talking to some of our alums who are clerking over there. So we're, you know, continuing to build on this list, but also looking for other ways, not just the speaker series, but other ways to connect our MLI students with leaders. Awesome. That sounds really exciting, actually. Yeah, I'm actually excited. I've been to the Hall of Justice, you know, many times, and but I'm actually excited to kind of get the behind-the-scenes tour. I haven't had the chance to do that before, so. Awesome. Uh, so lots of students um, have asked uh, us here in the admissions office about the admissions process uh, for MLI specifically. Um, so I wanted to kind of give an idea for students to know what's up with that. And so um, admission to MLI is granted on an invitation-only basis. Um, and that's a decision that's made in the uh, general application process here at the law school. So when you apply for admission to the law school, um, one of the recommendations from the admissions committee is for students to be placed in um, MLI as part of that. Uh, so now that we have MLI underway and we're in our first year going on second with it, um, we want to always point out to students that if you're interested in MLI, uh, definitely make sure that you're emphasizing your leadership skills and experience um, through your resume, through your personal statement, things like that. Um, also, if you have a specific interest in that, uh, mention it in your application um, because that will also point it out to us. Uh, so it's something new this year that if you're interested, definitely make sure you uh, mention it to that um, as part of your application. Um, I don't know if you have anything to add on that since it's our side of the house. <laughs> no, I think that covered it. Thanks, Chris. Yeah. Um, and so that's kind of really all we had um, on that specifically, unless you had anything else you wanted to add. I think anything I have. But. No, just that it's it's a really, really enjoyable thing um, for not, again, not just your first year, but really throughout your time in law school. Um, we're really cognizant of wanting to make it valuable, make the, make the participation and the group valuable, but also enjoyable. We know, I know, we all know how stressful law school can be sometimes, and so um, we just really, you know, we're cognizant of that. I, what I don't want people to think is that, oh, it's a bunch of extra time that I'm going to have to do on top of, you know, other things. So again, we're really cognizant of your time and really want to make sure that it's things that the MLI participants enjoy. And um, I think one of the things 
that I've heard from the current MLI participants. In addition to all of these great opportunities to meet leaders, they said that it was really nice to kind of have this built-in group coming in um, to the law school experience. I, I see them, you know, talking in the halls with each other, you know, just being in study groups together, things like that. So just a really, I think, a really fun and rewarding experience. Definitely, and I've heard great feedback from all our students that are in it this year. Um, and they stopped by the admissions just to say hi, that they really do enjoy it. So um, I pulled up here our contact information um, for the admissions office. Um, so if you do have any questions about MLI or anything related to that, definitely reach out to us. Um, also, if you reach out to us, we can connect you with Beth if you have specific questions that she might be able to assist you with. I don't think she'll mind putting it on the spot there. Absolutely not. <laughs> um, so uh, next up, I'm just going to give a few uh, seconds to type in any questions you might have um, related to MLI. Um, we're also going to have a recording of this post to our website in the next week or so. So definitely be on the lookout for that if you wanted to go back through the information um, because there's been lots of valuable things that we've been able to talk about today. So uh, we'll just Hang on for a minute to see if anybody has any questions uh, that we might be able to answer. Um, while you're thinking of any questions uh, that you can type into our Q&A box, um, I'm also going to pull up our list of webinars um, that are coming up in the next couple weeks. Um, we have one on financial aid um, next week with our director of financial aid, um, John Garcia. We have one about just generally getting into law school um, to help those of you that are still looking at applying for this year. Um, or even next year that can be definitely useful in the process and then we're also going to have one on our Jeffrey Fighter Child Practice Institute here at MSU Law um, and that will be in February to hear more about that for those of you that are interested in litigation. Um, so I haven't seen any questions pop through and that's okay um, but um, if you do have any questions uh, come up in the future please feel free to reach out to us. Um, we'd love to help out and answer any questions you might have and we hope everybody has a wonderful day. Thank you. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, everybody.